Hey, where are you? I hope you have not forgotten about the party. Of course not. I am coming already. Perfect. I will be waiting then. I am so happy to finally show off my beautiful and successful daughter-in-law to my friends. I Oh dear, that's so nice of you. Thank you. You are welcome. I will be there soon. I can't wait to see you. A week later. What on earth was that all about? Why would you do that to me? That is what you get for being a liar and a cheat. A liar? You threw a glass cup at me, and you were all violent because you thought I lied to you. What is the problem with you? You almost ruined my face, you know. You are so lucky to have gotten off with just a scratch. I wanted you to bleed. I wanted to give you one hell of an ugly scar. Gosh, you are everything I think you are. You should actually be in an asylum. That suits you better. What were you thinking hiding your past from me? I was so embarrassed having to find out from a friend. Why didn't you tell me that you were once married? You are a cheat and a liar. No man in his right senses will divorce a good woman. Your ex-husband, Leo, definitely dumped you because you are a bad woman. I am quite sure you are a terrible lady, and my son will have nothing to do with a divorcee like you. Getting to know about my past under the circumstances you did isn't enough reason to ask your friends to humiliate me the way they did. One of them would have ruined my dress with wine if I hadn't dodged her. That was so wicked coming from you. Wicked? You haven't seen anything yet. I didn't raise my son so perfectly for him to end up with a wasted human. Stay away from my son. Henry will have nothing to do with a divorcee, a liar, and a cheat like you. Leave him alone. That is not up to you to decide. It is Henry's decision to make and not yours, and I am very sure he will never leave me. He will. I will make sure that happens. He told me about the way you destroyed his previous relationships. But guess what? I'm not Ruth. I won't let you talk down on me or dictate my life. You will only be wasting your time. This sounds like war. Guess what? I'm not one to back down easily. You should get a life. Henry is old enough to know what he wants. So mind your business. I don't care whatever you say. What happened at the event is just the beginning of what will come to you if you don't stay off. The next day. Nancy, you've really done it this time. I'm furious. That nasty customer you sent to my shop demanded to pay $5 for a $150 toy. Oh, please. Like I have time for your shop drama. I didn't send anyone. What are you even talking about? That crazy lady said you're seeking revenge for what happened at the party. And she delivered this lovely message from you. Don't you dare mess with me, old witch. How dare you call me an old witch? That's laughable. You think I'd waste my energy on your ridiculous shop? Get real, Rita. Can't believe you are denying this. Where is your gut? That stupid girl you sent yanked off my wig during the argument, and then she sprayed pepper spray in my eyes. Oh, boo-hoo. Sounds like a personal problem. Still not my issue. I called the cops. They are on their way to your house. Lol. What a cheap joke. We both know you didn't call anyone. That's supposed to make me confess to something I know nothing about, right? Call whoever you want. I've got better things to do than deal with your mess. You can't just dismiss this. It's serious. Assault, harassment, and all because of some revenge. Look, I'm not involved. Deal with it yourself. And maybe this is karma catching up with you. It's not karma. It's you. Some toys got destroyed during the fight. I lost over $1,500. You should pay for that. Lol, you are a clown. You have no proof that I am the one. See, I've got better things to do than deal with all this. Gotta go. You can't just leave me hanging in this mess. Nancy! Nancy! Three days later. With all due respect, stop reaching out or calling my ex-husband. Can't believe you even went as far as sniffling around and getting his contact from my friend. Next time, I won't be this nice. You have no right whatsoever to reach out to him. Stop it now. Who told you I reached out to him? Don't you dare deny it. What business do you have calling him to ask about the reason I left him? That simple idiot. I needed to know why Leo dumped you. 
I guess both of you are not much different because all he could say from his mouth was trash. He called me all sorts of unprintable names, all because of you. I'm not surprised anyway. For you to have ended up with such a toxic man in the first place, that only means you are a terrible lady. You sound all righteous for a woman who was married three times. What? How did you get to know that? I guess I am not the only one with a secret. Three different men, and you think I am the worst because my last marriage didn't work. Why not judge yourself before judging others? Henry told me all the nasty things you did to your late husband. What lies did he tell you? We both know they aren't lies. I'm sure you don't want us to go over how you cheated on Henry's dad with your ex-husbands. Henry's dad sold those lies to him. Besides, my past has nothing to do with whatever is happening right now. You are only scared of your son settling for a woman like you. But guess what? I'm nothing like you. Just stop fighting a lost battle. Let's watch and see who will lose at the end of the day. Four days later. Why is my toy shop locked with a police order stamped on my door? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Why not ask the police? They put the stamp, not me. Are you serious right now? This is my shop and there is an order stopping me from going in. I asked Henry to get the order. You did what? Aside from forcing yourself on my son, you are now turning him against me, right? I am only reciprocating your kind gesture. I can't believe Henry listened to you and did this to his mother. Don't make it look as if you are not aware the shop was stocked up by Henry and I. You can still have the shop, but on one condition. What stupid condition? You will stop reaching out to my ex-husband. I will do no such thing. You don't want me to get to know the truth. I won't let you ruin my son. I will continue to message him until I expose you completely. You are a cheat and a liar. The issue here is not about me, but your shop. I am not going to stop until I expose you and get you far away from my son. All right. I guess you can kiss your shop goodbye then. The next day. You think showing up at the house to demand the key to your shop will solve anything? Stop wasting your time and you will never have these keys. I am coming back for my keys. And this time around, it will go beyond a punch. I guess you are still nursing the pain. Your actions are so demeaning, to say the least. You will never have access to that shop. Punching me was a big mistake and you are going to regret it so much. You will never have the keys. Punching you wasn't just for the keys, but the lies you told. What do you mean lies? You lied by omission. Tell me about your freaking past. I am not in a relationship with you. I don't owe you any explanation whatsoever. Henry knows about my ex-husband and he is okay with it. Whatever happened between us is now in the past. I don't know why it is difficult for you to understand. I will never understand and I will do all I can to make Henry see you for who you really are. You have been used and dumped. Henry deserves a woman with a clean slate. Henry knows what he wants and I am the one he wants. Get a life. You are going to regret this. Nah, I will have the last laugh. That's going to be one hell of a horrifying laughter. I swear on my dead mother's grave. Two days later. How could you do this to me after everything we have been through together? How could you cheat on me? Jeez, what sort of crazy accusation is this? You know I would never cheat on you. Well, that's what I thought. So imagine my shock when I found out. Of all the people you could cheat with, you chose your lame ex-husband. How could you do that to me? Who told you these terrible lies? Your mum is obviously behind this. Don't mention my mum. If you must know, she has nothing at all to do with this. At this point, I don't want to see you when I get home. I am respectfully begging you to leave the house. Are you serious right now? You are accusing me of something as serious as cheating and you won't even tell me who told you? Does it matter? It matters, Henry. You are not asking but accusing and it is heartbreaking. How could you just conclude I cheated on you? Conclude? I'm too smart to do that. Geez, I can't believe you are letting Rita get into your head. She is not- Yes, she is. Do you know how pissed I am right now? I hope you know what you are doing and can prove I cheated on you. If you can't, then it's over between us. 
It's already over. You are not just accepting it yet. 30 minutes later. Hey, I know nothing about the screenshots you sent. I am still shocked. They are not from me. How did you even get them? My mom sent them to me. Oh, so you finally decided to confess. Look, this isn't about confessing or not. Saying that mom sent the picture is only going to be a distraction. You are going to accuse her of doctoring the pictures and that's what you are doing right now. It's game over, Nancy. You've been caught. Geez, I know you are not going to believe it, but I'm equally confused. How did your mom get these pictures? How else would she get them? She reached out to your ex-husband and he sent these screenshots to her. She said she paid him a huge sum of money for him to send them. OMG! I really underestimated your mom. Never knew she would go this far. There is no way I would have gone back to my ex-husband. He is a cheat, and you know what he did to me during our marriage was terrible. Do I need to remind you how he got a lady pregnant in the first year of our marriage? Why would you think I would go back to such a man? For God's sake, Nancy. You and I both know you were helplessly in love with that man. Okay, let's say I believe you for a second. How do you explain the text messages? The phone number is yours. Unfortunately, I don't know how that happened. Your mom is up to something and it is very obvious. Jeez, can you stop pinning this on mom already? That's your freaking number in the text message. You know what, Henry? I'm disappointed in you. Believe anything you want to believe. If you can actually believe that I cheated on you, then maybe we are not good for each other. Don't turn the tables. I want to believe that you are innocent, but the text messages prove that you are guilty. Three days later. Why are you so shameless, Rita? You are trying to blackmail me, and now you are bringing my son into this. That's an eight-year-old boy, for goodness sake. What is wrong with you? Your son also needs to see you for who you really are. What are you on about? He needs to know you are not the perfect mom he thinks you are. And the right way to go about that is by lying to him. Telling my son I cheated on his father and left him to be with your son is pure wickedness and stupidity. What have I done for you to hate me so much? I can't have a divorcee as a daughter-in-law. Simple. If all your previous mothers-in-law had rejected or fought so hard with you, would you have married at all? That is none of your business. Same way my son is none of your business. He is too young to be dragged into your nonsense. You are trying to push him back to his father and we both know that's not good for him. Don't ever show your face at my son's school again. If you don't want him dragged into this, then leave Henry alone. Right now, my son and I are getting close again and I won't let you ruin it. He is only coming close to you because he thinks I cheated. I know you are behind this, and I will do everything to expose you. Expose? Stop lying to yourself. You cheated. There is nothing to prove. By the time I'm done with you, Henry wouldn't be able to stand a chance with you. Two days later, I I'm sure you have learned your lesson by now. Next time you show up in my son's school, you will definitely spend more than a night in jail. You took this too far? You should be glad my son bailed me on time! I'm so glad the teachers followed my instructions and called the cops on you. I won't be nice next time. Stop trying to bring my son closer to my ex-husband for whatever reason. That's a very cruel way to get your revenge. Your game is almost over, I promise. Two days later. What has gotten over? Don't you freaking know when to call it quits? That's no way to talk to your Mael. Why are you barking in my DM? Why on earth would you send Leo to my office to display such act of stupidity? I know nothing about what you're talking about. You know everything about what I'm talking about. I just got a query at work because of this. This is a stain on my reputation. Reputation? Lowell, I didn't know you have one. Anyway, I've never seen you this angry. I'm dying to know the crazy thing your ex-husband did. You mean the crazy thing you both planned? That dude punched the security guards and fought his way into my office, screaming like a simpleton. He then barged into my office with some flowers, chocolate, and a huge portrait of our wedding photo. Do you know how humiliated I was? Wow. I can't believe Leo would do something that dramatic. Cut the act. Why are you trying so hard to prove that Leo and I back together? Now, you are beginning to sound lame. What we should actually be concerned about is why Leo showed up at your office. It's obvious that you are talking to Leo again. That's the only thing that gave him the guts to do what he did. 
I won't waste my time trying to listen to you blame me for a stunt you pulled. I value my job and I can't afford getting sacked. Take your drama out of my workplace. This is my last warning. Whoa, 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 I'm so terrified. The next day. I can't use my credit card, bitch. What did you do? I blocked it. What gave you the right to do that? Seems you have forgotten that I gave you that credit card, right? Yes, and it became mine from that moment. You have no right to mess with it. You are shameless, you know. You still want to keep using my card despite the lies you fabricated against me? I'm sure once you don't have any more money, you will be forced to confess. How exactly did you get those fake screenshots? You and I both know they are not fake. If you didn't go about fooling with your ex-husband, he wouldn't have been able to send me those screenshots. Fine. You are still being adamant. Enjoy being broke. Lol. I can never be broke. I have Henry now. He's going to give me everything I need. Let's see what happens when he finds out that you are behind all this. I'm out of here. Two days later. Your secret is out. What are you talking about, you crazy lady? So you went all the way to bribe my secretary to send those messages from my phone just to paint a picture of me cheating on Henry. How could you be so wicked? Your secretary? You are such a liar. I will never stoop that low. Stop trying to deny it. She came to me herself. She said she couldn't watch my beautiful relationship with Henry crash like that. She even showed the evidence of the transfer you made to her. You are such a bitter and despicable old lady. I guess there is no point hiding anymore. Yeah, the secret may be out, but I'm sure you and Henry had a nasty fight over this issue. Definitely, your relationship is ruined. Would you ever forgive him for not trusting you? What's a relationship without trust? We are not going to let your little plan destroy what we have. Henry and I will get back stronger. Guess where I am now? I don't care. You should. I'm in Henry's house. He came to pick me up at my house. We just made a toast to your downfall. There is good news. Henry no longer wants you around him. Your son just disowned you. Henry will never do that. I'm calling him right away. Jeez, seems he has blocked me. Of course. I'm coming over now. We will throw you out. You lost. Accept defeat. I've to go now. I'm going to be so busy making the wedding preparations. The wedding will go on as planned and you are not invited. We will see about that. Two months later, wedding day. This is one of the most boring weddings I've ever attended. This place lacks taste and color. What do you mean? I am here at the wedding venue, stupid. I'm sure you are at the wrong address. We changed the wedding venue. Lowell, what were you doing thinking you could hide the new place from me? I found out about it. You are going to regret it for the rest of your life if you try anything funny. Leave now. I am not going anywhere. I am going to ruin this day for you. You think you can take my son from me just like that? No way, bitch. Jeez, Rita. What the hell is wrong with you? Someone just called me to tell me you are here with my ex-husband. Why did you have to bring him? Why else? Your dump ex-husband is my puppet. We are here to turn everything upside down. As we speak, he is already turning all the chairs upside down. Henry just called the cops. They are on their way. If you love yourself, get out of there right now. Not without a fight. Besides, Henry won't be stupid enough to call the cops on his mom on his wedding day. It is too late for that. You are only going to make a big fool of yourself. I won't. Once he gets married to you, he won't listen to me ever again. I can't let you do that to me. I am not going to stop. I will scatter everything here and I dare him to call the cops on his mother. He won't dare it. I am going to make you pay for trying to take my son from me. You are crazy. Have a nice time in jail. You are going to be paying for everything you and that fool destroyed. We will wait till you are behind bars before we start the wedding. Two weeks later. Hey, Nancy. I know at this point I have lost and I can't stop you. You have won, and I am ready to make peace. I am not sure you know what you are talking about. You can't change- Of course I have. I am coming over to your place right now. 
I have realized that I can't change Henry's mind about you. I know I'm not your fan, but I have decided to respect his choice. You can have him. So you finally came back to your sense after spending a week in jail? Lol. Anyway, stop trying to be nice. I know your true intentions. You are only saying all this because you want to see Henry. Let's sit and have a talk, and I will show you how much I have changed. There won't be any need for that. I'm afraid it's already too late for that. You know what? I am coming over to the house. That will show you how sorry I am. Don't bother coming over to the house. We don't need you here. I know you hate me, but you shouldn't try to stop me from visiting my son. I can't hurt you or my son. I know we had our issues, but I am not a demon. Suit yourself. One hour later. Nancy, how could you? I just got to the house and was told you and Henry have relocated. We don't need to seek your permission before doing anything. Fine. At least tell me where are you. You are never gonna know. What do you mean I'm never gonna know? You just wasted my time. You could have told me you have packed out. I thought I told you not to bother coming. I told you it wasn't necessary. Don't blame me. You are my family. I need to see my son. Henry is your son, but I am not your family. Can you at least tell me where you are? We have moved to another country since you are desperate to know. You can't do that to me. Henry is my son. I guess you forgot that when you tried to steal the love of his life and destroy his wedding. What about my allowance? How do you want an old woman like me to survive? Get a job. I'm really forced to say I hate you right now. Well, that hate isn't going to pay your bills. Now, get lost. Nancy blocks Rita. Three days later. Hello? Hey. So glad you responded. Need to tell you something urgent. Don't tell me this is Rita. Stop chatting me up with different numbers. That's the only way I can get to you. You blocked me. Rita, I'm here for business. See, I caught some serious infection while in prison. The treatment costs a fortune. I really need money. Don't turn away a dying old woman. If you had stayed in your lane, you wouldn't have caught any infection in the first place. Henry and I want nothing to do with you. Even when I'm dying? We both know you are not dying. We don't have any money to spare. Beg, work, do whatever you can to make money to treat your sick self. You don't get it. It's quite serious. I won't even have the strength to work. Please help. I must confess it feels quite satisfying to see you beg. But you know what? You are not worth a dollar from us. Go get a life. I'm so sorry, Nancy. I regret everything. Please help. After that, Henry and I totally cut Rita out of our lives. Since we stopped giving her money, she was forced to get a job. Because of her bad attitude and health, she couldn't even keep her job and kept getting laid off. She simply became miserable. As for my ex-husband, he was involved in a romance scam and he got caught. He is currently behind bars. What a loser. What do you think about the way my husband and I dealt with my mill?